ever meet someone who is a deep person, someone you would describe as deep, maybe you would consider yourself to be a deep person. What is a deep person? Depth is when someone is noticing things which are below the surface, deeper than the surface. When people have deeper insight into what is going on, they see more than the obvious. We refer to them as deep people. You see, when God created the world, he created a world that has multiple levels and dimensions. There's the world of matter. That's the world that we are all so very easily familiar with. It's tangible. You can see it. You can touch it. You can feel it. You can measure it. We have data, an endless amount of data, about the world of matter. The world of matter is a very comfortable place for a human being because we can know it so easily. We can measure it so easily. There's another dimension to this world which God created just as equally, and that is the world of the spirit, the spiritual, the intangible, the things that we cannot touch, the things that we cannot easily measure, the dimension that many people often don't even bother getting to know. That is the world of spirit. The more one is in touch with the world of spirit, the more we refer to them as a deep person. There's the world of matter. There's the world of spirit. They are, they are really all one and the same universe. It's just two different dimensions of the same universe. That's what it is. Now, we all know the enormous truth behind the world of spirit. We know that when we see tears falling down someone's face, what is happening in the world of matter is that their eyes are emitting tears. But we know that there's something in their spirit that is causing that. We are very much aware that we need to be deep and understand what's happening in the depth of this person if we want to really capture what's going on with the crying. We know this because when we meet someone and that person looks beautiful, you look at their matter, their body, and they look beautiful. But as you get to speak to them, you begin to sense a personality which is ugly. And you suddenly start becoming disgusted by this person. What's happening is you are discovering the depth of this person, the spirit of this person. And you know that's truly what matters about a person. We can embrace someone who is beautiful on the outside in the world of matter. But we will not be able to sustain that relationship if the spirit is not beautiful. It becomes that much more difficult. We know when someone is withdrawn, they pull back. They're not engaging. We know what's happening in the world of matter. They simply have removed themselves. They won't come near us. But we understand, we all understand that the issue is not what's happening in the world of matter, what, what's, the issue is what's happening in the world of spirit. I'm focusing so much on the difference between these two worlds because they are so crucial to our lives. They are so crucial to what we are going to train ourselves to focus on. Now, it takes no training to focus on the world of matter. That's instinctive. It takes a lot of training and focus, desire and purpose to focus on the world of spirit. And it makes us deep, enriched people. But we have to put effort into doing that. When we celebrate the Jewish New Year, Rosh Hashanah, we are celebrating the creation of the world, the anniversary of the creation of the world. 
That's what we're celebrating. And you may know that actually we the, the holiday of Rosh Hashanah commemorates and is aligned with the anniversary of the sixth day of creation, the day that God created man. And there's a reason why. Because from all six days of creation, the day that conveys the spirit of the universe, the depth, the meaning, the purpose of the universe, all lies in the sixth day of creation when man was created. And God wants us to be deep people. Why? Because that is our purpose. And that's why the first day of our year is not when God began creating matter. It's when God was creating and focusing on the spirit of the world, the spiritual dimension of creation. And this is the reason why man was created on the sixth day, because man was created uniquely from all other beings. When God created the sun and the moon, he said, let there be a sun and let there be a moon, and boom, there they were. Let there be trees, and there they were. Let there be animals, and there they were. But when it came to man, God did something very different for this very same reason. When God created man, he said, we are going to create a body out of earth, and then we are going to create, blow into this body a soul. You see, God deliberately differentiated and separated the body of man from his independent soul. Unlike by all other creatures and creations where the, where the body and soul were, was, were created at once. Why did God do this? Because God wanted us to know that we as human beings have a purpose here. And our purpose is to be deep people, to get in touch with the soul of the matter in everything we experience and everything we do. In our perspective, in every shape and form, we must get in touch with what's going on within, with the soul, not only with the matter. So God said, I will create you with your soul distinct from your body so that you understand that you can realize that there's something deeper that is always going on. There is something deeper to every single thing that you see and experience. This is our mission. And that's the reason why on this holiday of Rosh Hashanah, the feature ritual, the feature mitzvah of this holiday is the blowing of the shofar. Because the sound of the shofar is the sound of a deep cry. It reflects the yearning of our inner self, of our soul crying out to be heard, to be seen, to be focused on. That is the significance of the chauffeur, calling us, beckoning us, begging us to look a little deeper this year so that when we reflect on how we were last year and how we're going to be this year, we focus on what really matters, that our soul show up more in everything that we do, that we notice in everything that's going on around us and in the people around us, their soul, not just their matter. That when events happen in this coming year, we pay attention to the significance of the event, not just the event itself. This is our purpose. And this is how we enrich our own lives and how we enrich the world around us. When we don't resign ourselves to the surface, but we become deep people. Mm -hmm.